Hi, my name is Mahmoud. I'm a senior Flash developer and webmaster of CaesarComponents.com. I'm designing this web page. I love the design. This is my logo. Today, I will uh, explain uh, a thing called local machine. I didn't know what about the beginners of Flash developers. Uh, or diving uh, in the development of object oriented or making connection between Swift files trying to load action script into action script 3 files there is a problem I know but local connection solves these problems the making communication between the two SWF files or more that are running on the same client you can assume that you have HTML page or what whatever it says bxphp having two or more flash files in one in the same page you want to call the Swift files uh, uh, it's you can uh, uh, imagine that it's a bridge Bridges between the Swift files, calling send variables, call functions. Uh, this is a simple. What is the local connection? In a similar that the local connections, it just make you enable the communication between Swift files that are running on the same client. So in this tutorial, I will show you how could you call a function from one Swift file to another Swift file. So let's get started. I like the practice mode. So I will create a new Flash document using Action Script 3. It doesn't matter Action Script is 3 or 2. The 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 issue is the same. But in Action Script 3, you, you use uh, listeners. So I will save this file the desktop I will call that a local app open it and I will naming this file flash one and save create another flash file save it in the same directory naming this flash two okay go to flash one dot FLA uh, layer I will call that text field okay I will create a text field it's type it's input text okay they are aligned to the left and check show borders around the text here it is and uh, it just the meaning of graphics, but uh, something uh, uh, distinguishes page. This is the text. No, I want it to be static. Okay, I will call the flash file one just to know the SWF I am standing on and I will create a button get the rectangle tool it's, it's uh, red ok create rectangle I convert it to a simple and I will call that up uh, my button keep it simple okay double click for it to the edit mode 
kg plus 2 and I will call this my button ok I will call this text to import underscore txt ok I get these two text fields make a copy I will paste in place in flash to TFLA and change the title here to flash to OK. I will change the type of this text field to a dynamic. I will let's say dynamic. OK. I will move to flash one and adding some code. So here is the action script code our code. So here I will open the action panel. Here it is. Okay. So I will creating a variable let's say con let's type local connection new local connection ok and make my button dot add event listener mouse event dot click ok let's say bottom clicked and get copy function dot yes mouse event ok let me just turn by it and what's happen it will send here is a connection name this connection name I will use it in the second FLA which is called flash 2 let's say uh, con 1 ok and the method I will calling uh, let's say view message and here is the parameters you can alleviate the blank but I will send the text writing here and displayed here ok so I would creating a variable called string it's equal to the input underscore txt the text ok and get this variable as a parameters ok and traveling to flash 2 and open the action here create another connection new local connection and uh, create a function called view message that will be calling from the flash one to FLA the parameters here side string okay and I will change uh, the dynamic underscore txt dynamic field it's equal to that value so I need to make a connect to the ID of the connection which is con1 make a copy ok and paste here so I will play it run this one create a 
this web file okay I will open the uh, local app open the flash 1 flash 2 here here it is and uh, yes hello okay hello so local connection it's called back So I will close it, check what's missed. So I will send it here. The string view message. It is the same. So that making the client here to receive the connection so that is what I missed change that uh, it's a proper keyboard so it's running that's all the local connection thank you for watching and waiting for another series of videos thank you and goodbye